One of the fastest to-go items ever, right? Wrong. Wait, today we're launching something we've been working on for a year. I wanna present Papa Tapa. It's an apparel company inspired by food. Something you've all been asking for, we're bringing it here. And the first drop is today. You can go and get it for limited time until we sell out. Once this drop sells out, it is not coming back. It's gone. How can I buy something if I don't know what it looks like? Well, first off, the link's in the description, and second off. Link in the description, I'll see you there. Onward to butt faster. This is probably one of the most popular takeout items in existence. The burrito bowl, you get a little bit of protein, a little bit of rice, vegetable, cheese. It's a great meal for the indecisive and it's usually fast. Just not as fast as me. The biggest problem with the burrito bowl, I'm a fan of it, but they're never as good as eating them there. So if you're gonna take them home, it's gonna sit and sweat like me, because I continuously wear pants going outside and it's humid and hot. It's like a braise in the leg. My legs are brazing. I'm talking about my legs. Anyway, you know the drill. Ulysses is gonna order it, go and get it, pick it up. They have to come back and I have to make and finish my burrito bowl before they get here. We know who the winner's gonna be, come on. Ah. Burrito bowl. We want chicken. Steak. Steak. I've added white rice. You can also add salsa, cheese, lettuce. What else would you like with that? That's it. Okay. What else can I get for you today? That's it. Recipe on the website. We may not have a robot. What we do have is spoons. Ulysses gave me this weird look and he was like, I hope you're not missing anything. What is this man gonna take? Hmm? Damn knife is taller than that dude. We're gonna start with the rice. This is our leverage, the instant pot. So, dip. strainer, medium grain rice in, water on. I guess we just wait. God. Could this water pressure be any worse? Is this usually this damn slow? Good lord! We fly like Ulysses and wear Papa Tapa. Shout out to the comment section. Always showing love. Helps me get through my day because I always lose. Now I make it pee. Give it a nice stir. Drain, drain, drain. Damn, girl. Into the instant pot. Even it out. In. Water in. Any burrito bowl place probably has literally everything already cooked. Literally everything. So I don't want to hear any complaints of Josh, that's not fair, blah, blah, blah. Shut the hell up. Takes you like two hours. Great cheese. Four minutes. Naturally release after that. These are our fajita veggies. I'm just getting this out of the way. You know, we don't need it right this very second, but it would be nice that it's ready. We're just gonna julienne these. This onion is way too damn big. A lot of times people ask me, what am I supposed to do with a half an onion, Josh? Now I got this thing just sitting here. Look, put it in your fridge, chop it up, saute it, make some caramelized onions. You can blend it and freeze it and use it in like a curry. We have a sliced onion into the bowl and then that's gonna go do something later. Hey yo, the vibes are good today. No red lights, smooth green. Five minute lights, going good today. Must be the fresh ass tea. I knew it was gonna happen as soon as I said it. All right, so we're gonna go to the beanus next. A wee bit of chili in it. Slice it really nicely. Okay, nice little fucking mess. Okay, Jesus. Chili's done, a bit of garlic. I get that a burrito bowl is a lot of elements. The one thing that's gonna help you isn't just pacing yourself, but like making each element simple. They don't have to be super complicated. Garlic, onion, that's it. Add stuff to it if you want to, but that's just gonna add time. We got our bacon. Josh, you're cross-contaminating. No, I'm not. I'm done with this board and all this stuff is gonna get cooked together. What? Yep, I'm done with that. <laughs> Goodbye. Some people ask, how is it just being so great at everything? You know, and I started when I was young. I always ate fast. Didn't move fast, but I ate fast. Bacon in. A little bit of oil to help coerce that bacon into getting his goddamn job done. Let's start the steak. Oh, turn that off. Good. Cheat tray for our steak. Strip loin. Great to go fast and all, but if what you're making sucks, then who gives a sh All right, bacon's cooking. Steak's really easy. Medium high heat. Pan on. Oil in the pan. Not too much. We're also going to be basting with butter. That's why I have my Bond. I think I know what Ulysses took. My goddamn offset spatula. That little man knows how to piss me off. This is getting hot, feeling good. We got three pans going now. Oil in the pan. We're just sitting here right now. That's still getting hot. I'll make the damn chipotle sauce or whatever. All right, we got mayo, sour cream, garlic powder, paprika, a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of salties. A lot of the time people will see me do that and they go, oh my God, that's a big mound of salt. You do realize I'm about to mix this all together, right? Cooking the bacon, cooking the bacon. Mix, 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 mix. Done. Look. How is this not a setup, bro? Whose idea was it to go here? Is it you, Pano? Are you in on this? A little sussy. Jalapenos and garlic in. A little salty on our steaky. A little bit of peppy. Nice. Okay, shake the oil around and steak goes in. 
our pan press it to adhere it. More salt, a little bit of peppy. All right, now back into here, we're gonna put some salt in here. This pan's hot, veg going into this pan. You see, it's like a symphony waltzing between pans. Coat that in the oil, salt, wee bit of pepper, and then you're just gonna toss these every so often until they're soft. They're, they don't do that much to the veg. Show this up, we got salt in here. We're gonna add more, oh, that's spicy. We're making good progress. Where are they at right now? Another red light, how are you feeling? Oh, that took the goddamn can opener. Oh, no he didn't. <laughs> Maybe he didn't take anything. He just did this to screw with me. Bay leaves. I'm gonna drain these guys. Beans in. All right, I gotta flip this like now. Woo, not my best sear, but it's all right. All right, stir this bad boy. I'm gonna immediately get my chicken broth in there so it starts simmering right away. Boom, give these a toss. Oh yeah, we're getting some nice color. It smells fantastic. Our rice is almost done. Come on, bro. At the bag, it's secured. I'm gonna do a trick. Trick time. What? Yeah, check this out though. You got the shirt on! Guess what, it's basting time. Yeah! <laughs> out of the pan, onto a cutting board to rest. I'm gonna keep that butter and beef fat in case I want it later. We can switch this over here. Veg is pretty much done. At a lower heat, it's got some nice char. Now I'm just gonna cook it down. Don't need any more char with it. This is simmering away, it looks lovely. I think at this point we start adjusting seasoning, make sure everything's seasoned to our desired level. We're, get, we're getting pretty close here. Avocados quartered, going down. Slice, I almost cut my finger, that's fine. Sauce, 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 that's done. All right, let's check on our beanus. Smells really nice. I smell the bay leaf, I smell the garlic. Plate, grater, and we just grate some cheese. My beanus is almost ready. Mm, damn, that's some good ass beanus, and it's spicy too. I love beanus. The merch is out, how can I rock it? When when I rock it? I'm gonna give it to you right now. Crew neck sweater, wear it to the club. You don't get all the honeys, you're gonna get all the hubbies. You choose, your life, your choice, wear the crew neck. We're almost like three quarters of the way done. All this stuff is freshly cooked. It hasn't been sitting for an hour or whatever. It's not about better, I'm just trying to make a point. Chop some cilantro, the rice is nearly done. You know what's funny? I feel like some of the greatest flavors I've ever made was in a rush. My seasoning tends to be the most accurate when I'm moving quickly. I'm scared. Works every time, like a goddamn charm. Look at that. Fastest rice in history. Also, that's already in a bowl. You wanna speed this up even more? Paper towels, just enough of a barrier. A little bit of butter in, lime juice, mix that up until it's all coated. It's super hot, so it's gonna melt the butter nicely. I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of salt to season it. Got lime juice in there, so it can take a little extra salt. Add our cilantro in, oh, lovely. You know, I was nervous about this one. Now I'm not. All rice is nice, real nice. You know what I just dropped my phone. I really like burrito bowls, and I kind of want to eat the one I just got. I think if I eat a little bit, he'll know. Steak might be a little overcooked, so I'm being totally honest. Oh, that's not bad at all. It's a beautiful medium rare, sorry about it. No mercy, plate up time. Rice down in the bowl. Make it look yummy. Steak going down on a Tuesday. Next to the steak, that's so hot. My fajita veg. Cheese, beanus. God, this smells amazing. It's herbaceous, it's fresh. We got little pieces of bacon, jalapeno. Avocado down right in the center. And what does that leave us one little space for? Big mommy sauce. Stir up nicely and give a good dollop. I like putting dollops of sauce on things, but it always looks pretty ugly. What do chefs do when they make something a little ugly? They use microgreens. We're not gonna use microgreens because that wouldn't be very fair. So we're gonna use a little bit of cilantro. I almost like wanna like just lie and say that they won because I feel bad for them. And then of course we finish it with a touch of fresh maldon. You know what really grinds my gears is when I show up. Obviously you won, bro. Why are you drinking a cup of wine? What's up with that, bro? Cheers. Cheers, gentlemen. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you hitting the brakes? I oh, dang it. Because all of America can't drive. Jesus. Some people need to have a glass of champagne. Evening, gentlemen. Can you zoom in on this? Ty feel right now. How are you doing, boys? Y'all should be asking me how I'm doing. That's what he asked. That's what he asked. I did a really cool theatric. I popped the top off. I pop a top off. <laughs> I slapped the We're gonna taste now from an undisclosed location. Whoa, a really good local restaurant. <laughs> this is drier than Satan's drawls. The buff. I mean, come on. This thing is juicy, it's loosey. And I'm gonna goosey. A little bit of sauce, a little bit of avo, a little bit of cheese. Ah! When it comes to taking the time to making something taste better, it's not always about actually physically needing time. Things can taste good by just using good technique and knowing what tastes good. That's it, season something properly. Remember that. Now it's time for the blind taste test. There, stop. This is the number one. This is the number two. Ready? Uh. Down. Choo choo. What? Why are you, why are you following me like that? Never gonna let you alone now. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> wow, very big. All right, it's, it's in there. All right, number two. You can close. This was a win either way. You call, have the robot do the <laughs> go wait in line, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. You can't beat it. That is but faster.